Nuts are a popular tree at this time of year. They're great for giving to loved ones and for keeping at home for a healthy snack. But global inflation has seen the price of importing nuts soar. Today, we meet one Taiwanese nut producer that insists on keeping its retail prices stable despite the risk. Their commitment to healthier processing keeps loyal customers on board. And they're hoping the rise in online sales will see them through their turbulent post-pandemic period. Trays of nuts revolve 360 degrees in the oven so that each nut gets heated evenly with minimal rancidity. They're baked at low temperature, just 100 degrees, and each batch spends six to eight hours in the oven. During that time, the chef opens the oven door to check on their progress. Traditional deep frying techniques take just 15 to 20 minutes. This baking process is much slower and more labor intensive. We process them in the most responsible way possible. Our aim is to preserve as much nutrition as we can, as well as the natural flavors of the nuts. After all, we are a subcontracting factory. So we tried out lots of different processing techniques before discovering that this is actually the best way to handle the nuts. The company's commitment to producing healthy nut products started with their founder, Xu Huan Shen. When he developed cancer 20 years ago, he decided to pivot the company from subcontracting deep frying food products to working specifically with nuts. In their heyday, they processed a staggering 80% of the nuts sold in the bustling Dihua Street market area of Taipei. Revenue then was almost 100 million NT annually, but the pandemic was a hard blow and sales fell. Now, inflation means it's 20% more expensive to import nuts from abroad. The price comes from the fact that you can't keep nuts for too long, so the price fluctuates quite significantly, even to the degree that you might get one price offered today, and if you don't say yes, the next day the price will have gone up. So import costs have risen, but the company has frozen its retail prices for the last eight years for fear of losing customers. However, the good news is the pandemic saw online sales rise from 7 to 13 percent of total sales. Healthy eating is a trend with a lot of mileage, and the company hopes that with timely evolution, they can keep hold of their place in today's market.